In the future, there will no longer be congestion in the cities with lots of traffic, we will see car flying on the highway. Really? Well, the rapid development and application of new technology has made car flying no longer just a dream, but a reality. Congestion and parking have always been two major problems for society, and the emergence of car flying may be able to solve this problem once and for all. Did you know? Car flying is not a new word, the earliest recorded human dream of car flying can be traced back to the pre qin era in China more than 4,000 years ago. The world's first car was born in 1886, and the first flight in human history was in 1903. Since the advent of airplanes, people have been exploring the practice of car flying by combining cars with airplanes. Flying car, is it an airplane or a car? As the name implies, it is a car that can fly. It can fly in the air, transforming from a road car into an airplane. The world's first flying car made its maiden flight in the U.S. in early March 2009, and after landing, it can fold its wings and drive on the highway with the push of a button. Can flying cars come true? What flying cars have been developed around the world? When will it be available for commercial use? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. In 1906, Romanian Terry and Vuia modified the car for it, simply adding two wings and making the first test flight, which was obviously a failure. And in 1917 on the basis of the Romanian-American Glenn Hammond Curtis developed an aluminum fuselage to create a flying car autoplane, although the same did not test flight success, but this is recognized as the world's first flying car. In 1940, Robert Fulton also designed a prototype of a flying car, which also could not fly, but it really had the prototype of a flying car. You must be curious about the current state of development of car flying. Let's take a look. The most obvious difference between a flying car and an ordinary car is that it has an aerial flight function. With the rise of urban air traffic UAM concept in recent years, the Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicle EVTOL, which is used to solve the problem of urban traffic congestion and has only air flight function, is also called flying car. The connotation of the flying car concept is expanded to a vehicle with land and air amphibious function or for urban air traffic. Due to the development of modern technology, the development of car flying is varied and can be mainly divided into three types, folding wing car flying, multirotor car flying, and self-rotating car flying. The world's first real flying car, the Transition, was first successfully flown by Terra Fugia in 2009, but it required sufficient space and distance to land and take off, limiting urban use. In order to solve this problem, in recent years, the main development of a new concept car TFX can take off and land vertically, this flying car with foldable wing design. When driving on the road, the wings can be folded on both sides of the body and the propellers can be folded inside the fairing, so that it can be driven on the road like a normal civilian car. In flight mode, the wings and propellers are deployed. The wheels are retracted inside the inner fairing to reduce the drag on the wheels during flight. With the vertical takeoff and landing function, the TFX has a higher safety factor and requires less road surface for takeoff. However, the tilt rotor structure of the TFX leads to a higher cost, a much higher energy consumption ratio, a higher cost of use, and a smaller surface area. Let's take a look at the second type of flying car, the multirotor YAC-216. 
Multi-rotor flying car applies the principle of external symmetric propellers to provide sufficient lift while offsetting torque forces. With the ability to take off and land vertically, the EVA-216 is no longer limited to takeoff and landing sites. It can fly unmanned through a pre-planned route, with low restrictions on the crew's ability to operate, low chance of mishandling, and high safety. However, compared with other car flying, it has high cost, slow speed, and high energy consumption, small range and high maintenance cost. It is only suitable for small-scale traffic and short-distance travel. Speaking of that, we have to talk about EVA, which is a Chinese intelligent company born specifically for car flying and its strength should not be underestimated. It went public in the US very early and released its 184 flying car prototype in 2016, with a successful test flight two years later. And in 2019, this company began delivering the production version of the YH216 model, which can take two people with 16 rotors and much greater stability. The last is the Spin Rotor Pal V flying car. It is developed and designed by a studio in the Netherlands. Pal V1 adopts the design of a self rotating aircraft, while integrating the functions of a car and a motorcycle, and the rotor will be folded and can be driven normally on the road. After unfolding the rotor, the propeller at the collective tail provides thrust to generate lift by rotating the self-rotor, and it takes 170m of taxiing to take off. It flies fast, has low sight requirements, and does not have hovering capability. Compared with the multi-rotor flying car, the self-rotor flying car has low energy consumption, fast flight speed, low cost, high safety, and no vertical takeoff and landing function. However, it meets people's daily needs for cars and flying, and has certain practicality. This flying car, on land, is like a three-wheeled motor vehicle, with a maximum speed of 200 km per hour. However, constrained by the constraints of urban transportation space, the taxi run takeoff and landing type car flying are difficult to enter the space constrained cities for use and cannot be integrated into the ground transportation system in the future. Cities also have strict noise control and emission regulation requirements, therefore, with vertical takeoff and landing function, low noise, new energy, will be the basic characteristics of urban air traffic and future travel flying car. As a new type of transportation for urban air traffic and future travel, car flying are receiving more and more attention from the aviation and automotive fields and have become an important development trend of cross-border integration of aviation and automotive technologies and industries. In its study, Urban Air Mobility, the rise of a new mode of transportation, released in November 2018, Roland Berger predicts that 3,000 car flying will be in service by 2025, with exponential growth thereafter. By 2050, nearly 100,000 car flying will be in service worldwide as air cabs, airport shuttles and intercity flights. With the continuous development and improvement of intelligent transportation facilities, the ground-driving attributes of car flying will definitely be realized and strengthened in the future, and human beings will return to and realize the dream of flying cars under a new intelligent travel transportation system. Recently, a Slovakian flying car company, Klein Vision's patented dual-mode air car, was granted an airworthiness certificate by the Slovakian Transport Authority, opening the door for efficient car flying to become legal transportation. I believe that the dream of car flying will soon come true. If car flying officially enter the market, will you replace your existing car and choose a flying car? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.